I have to admit, I'm a dog lover. I think a lot of people prefer dogs over cats. A cat can be more of an acquired taste. But once you go cat, there's no turning back. I've had many dogs over the years. A lot of fond memories as far back as my childhood. From Linus to Renee, on up to Caesar and Cleopatra. I even used to breed dogs for some years. And I love all animals, but I never had a feline up until about five or six years ago. You believe that? It's a fact. But now, I'm a cool cat. You are now rocking with the cool cats and me, the DEV. Today, if you're an animal lover, I'm going to talk to you about whether you have a cat already or not, why everyone should get one. And because you're an animal lover, Right from the start, I'm going to appeal to your heart. The number one reason that everyone should get a cat is because they need you. The plight of a cat is a sad one in most cases. In America, around 3.4 million cats end up in shelters every year and approximately 1.4 million of those cats are euthanized every year. Imagine opening up your eyes, coming into this world only to be killed because you're here. Prove your love for animals. Help save this one. They need your help. Now that I've talked about what you can do for them, let's talk about some of the wonderful things that cats can do for you. Cats lower stress level. It's no secret that petting a cat can be a relaxing and soothing experience, but there is scientific evidence to back it up. Many studies have shown that being around a cat can lower stress levels, reduce anxiety, and even alleviate symptoms of depression. Have you ever had a mouse in the house? What an unnerving feeling. Well, cats are the ultimate hunters. They represent pest control at its finest. With one of these guys around, not even an ant will go unnoticed. Now, some of y'all are just trifling. A cat ain't gonna help you. But for most of us folks, a cat can provide that peace of mind. Speaking of the mind, cats are also good for our mental health. Interacting with a cat can have numerous positive effects on one's mental health and well-being. Not only can it reduce stress and anxiety, but it can also increase feelings of happiness and contentment. And cats aren't just good for your mental health, they can also be good for your physical health. Research has found that people who have a cat have a lower risk of heart disease and stroke, as well as lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels. And for y'all faithful dog lovers, I get it. 
y'all want to play fetch. Well, a cat can do that too. How about improving your sleep quality? If you struggle with getting a good night's sleep, a cat may be just what the doctor ordered. Cats have a calm and relaxing presence. The sound of purring is incredibly soothing. I get out here and walk on a regular. I got a lot of moving parts rattling around in my head at all times. This thing called life and what we're trying to do with it. But when I walk out here, I flush everything out of my mind and fill it with the nature that surrounds me. I become one with it in my mind. We all are one with it anyway. It's just putting my mind there with it. The world is set up to keep us distracted, you know, from what's really going on. It's deep. But when you get connected, there's an overwhelming feeling of peace gratefulness I think about how grateful I am to have the love of my cats unconditional love believe it or not it's rare to understand cats you have to be the type of person that looks beneath the surface cats are mystical creatures spiritual even you have to have some depth to be able to rock with them and i get it remember i'm a dog person i love all animals but up until about six years ago i never had a cat my perception of them was from afar but when you have a cat and they actually connect with you, that's what unlocks the beauty of this animal. They control the narrative. That's why you should get a cat. It'll help you grow as a person, expand your mind and your understanding. But I do understand that some people are just stuck where they are. They're trapped inside their comfort zone. And they don't understand that limited thinking is a prison. I'll give you an example. When some people think of the universe, they think of Earth and all the planets that orbit the sun. But that's just our solar system. There are 3,916 other solar systems just like ours in the Milky Way, which is our galaxy. And if you think that's big, there are a little over 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe. My point, there is always so much more outside of your comfort zone. Now, you know who should understand things like that? It's the same answer as who should have a cat. Everyone.
is a gratitude rock. It's not the rock that's important. It's what it symbolizes. Every day on my way out the house, I put this rock in my pocket. And during the course of the day, whenever I stick my hand in my pocket for something, if it happens to touch that rock, I have to stop whatever it is I'm doing just for a moment and think of something that I'm grateful for. Life can get us frustrated in the blink of an eye. That bill collected is getting on your nerves. How about sitting in that traffic? But when your mind is focused on something that you're grateful for, the only thing that you can be in that moment is happy. Think about it. And that peace that resonates throughout your being is very powerful. When we are grateful, that energy that we send out attracts more experiences for us to be grateful for. What I figured out is that being around my cats keeps me in a state of gratitude. Our unconditional love for each other is immeasurable and I can attribute the success of some major transitions that I've made in my life over the last few years to the amount of peace that they have brought to my spirit. See folks, like I said earlier, for you to truly appreciate cats, you have to be thinking on a deeper level because that is the level where cats reside. So go deep. You'll be the better for it. Get yourself a cat. Or better yet, get yourself two. And when you get there, make sure you tell them that you were sent by the Cool Cats crew. Now remember, to treat your animals well. They didn't ask to be there with you, but now all they have is you. Treat them like family. Fam.